Hey, how's she going, boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Well, we're in the shop again with uh, a push mower. Uh, one of the push mowers that Nanny uses for trimming around uh, in the, the yard there when she finishes on the sit-down mower. So I want to do a little bit of maintenance on this. Uh, I kind of am embarrassed with the condition that this is in because last uh, fall we sort of just put it away quick. Didn't clean it up at all, so it's kind of really in bad shape. Lots of grass clipping still on it. But anyway, uh, I wanted to show you just exactly how bad a mower can get and then uh, what we can do to get her back in shape. So let's have a look at doing some uh, springtime maintenance to a push mower. Okay, there she is. Dirty as sin. Anyway, it's a Brute, Brinson Stratton, uh, lawn mower, push mower. I don't know what they rate them here. The rating is, ratings are funny. I'm thinking it's about a three and a half horsepower. But anyway, pretty dirty. We're going to have a go at uh, sprucing it up for springtime. Okay, we're going to start here uh, checking under the mower. And you can see it looks really, really clean. Good shape, good condition. The mower looked pretty scuzzy from the top side, but the underside here looks really, really good. And the blade, the blade here is in good shape. It's uh, just a few little nicks in it, but nothing serious. Uh, also, along here on the drive for the wheels, you see there's hardly any grass build up at all, so that's decent. This mower is in really good shape underneath, so we'll just uh, focus on the top side. All right, so the first thing I want to do with the mower is just clean it off, uh, dust it down a little bit because it's uh, dusty as heck. And like I say, when we put it away last fall, or when I put it away last fall, uh, I didn't clean it up at all, and it's, uh, it certainly shows it now. But uh, things were really dry last summer, and the, the last time we went around mowing, uh, it was pretty dusty, so it kicked up a lot of dust and made a real mess of the mower. So we're going to clean all that off now, or clean a lot of it off, get it as clean as we can, and then we'll do a little maintenance on it. Alright, the first thing I want to do is see what kind of fuel is in it, and there's not much. Uh, there's no fuel shut off on it, so I want to check the air cleaner. The air cleaner is uh, very dirty, look at that. Pretty dirty, eh? Uh, where we are here, although Nanny does a great job looking after the yard and the lawns and all, we do have uh, a lot of bare spots and we get lots of uh, dry dust when we're mowing lots of times. I'm just going to wipe this down a little bit and we'll put a new air cleaner in here. Okay, we're going to go get an air cleaner. Here's my new air cleaner. I get these on Amazon. I think I bought three or four of them at a time. Uh, get a good price. So that just clips on there. One thing about the newer uh, lawnmowers, you don't need many tools to get to a lot of the parts now. I don't know whether that's to make them cheaper, cheaper to manufacture or just, you know, engineers making it easier to maintain them. I don't know. But anyways, we're glad of that. Another thing I want to check here is the plug. That wasn't going to fall off.
of course. There's the plug. Looks brand new, eh? It's a Champion RC12 YC. Uh, here's an interesting thing. I'm just looking on the, the name plate here on the front of the motor. It's a 675 EXI series, Briggs & Stratton, Ready Start. It says, just check and add. Never change the oil. <laughs> I don't get that one. Never change the oil. Hmm. So let's check the oil in it. They say never change it. It says it's full. And the oil looks pretty clean too, so... But as normal, everything is very, very dirty. Dusty, I guess, not dirty so much. Okay, uh, I'm going to take this, uh, it's a self-propelled mower, so I'm going to take this little cover off just to check, make sure there's no grass clippings or buildup in there. This is 163 cc double overhead valve. I, <laughs> that's funny when they say that double overhead valve. It makes it sound like it's a big rig, but all it is is an exhaust and an input. Valve. Okay, we got this cover off, and uh, really, all things said, that belt is in good shape. Uh, the spring has good tension on it. And there's no grass clippings in there, just a little dust. So we'll dust that off. Okay. There's a lot of parts on these mowers now too that are uh, that are all plastic. A little spring that I know here. Make it look pretty. Annie uses the bagger feature on this mower, so uh, this lid here always gets lifted up out of the way. I'm going to put the bagger on it. Okay, a little fuel, the oil is okay, the plug is good, underside is good, I changed the air filter. How many pulls is it going to take to start this puppy? There's one.
two poles. So to do maintenance on your lawnmower, I think it's very important. You should do it in the spring and you should do it in the fall, although I didn't do it last fall because the look of that mower when I put it away was sort of eh, a little embarrassing. But anyways, it was only dirty on the top side, not the underside. Kudos to Nanny for keeping the underside clean and uh, we'll slapping the rest to Grampy for not maintaining the top side. <laughs> uh, what we did though for this quick maintenance was uh, I changed the air filter. The air filter was very dirty but we have a very dusty uh, area here especially in the heat of the summer when things dry out and in the fall too sometimes. So changing the air filter is important. I checked the plug. The plug looked brand new. It was in great shape. And uh, although the mower says check your oil never change it, <laughs> I want to change it, but uh, the oil still looked good so I'm going to leave it for a little bit. And it was a good level, so that's all right. Blade was nice and sharp. So for lawnmower maintenance, uh, it's good to do your maintenance before you put it away in the fall. But every spring you should do a little check over your mower. And especially if there's gas left in the tank over the winter, good idea to get rid of that gas and put new fresh gas in because your mower just works 100 times better with fresh fuel. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this little quick video on springtime lawnmower maintenance. We'll see you next time on Grampy's Workshop. Wash your hands.